pay and shorter hours demanded by the Smithfield meat workers led to a strike which threatened to cut off the housewife's supplies. In the market, usually busy with strong men expressing strong thoughts in strong words, all were silent except for one who spoke from an idle van. Hooks normally draped with nature in the raw stood as innocent of meat as a vegetarian cutlet. It begins to look as if the British working man will have to take his Sunday dinner out of a glass. A couple of days after Smithfield went on strike, the Islington slaughterers came out in sympathy. If we can't get our home-killed meat, it'll be a bad lookout for everyone.